Hello, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and today, KISS. Let's start. Well, KISS, keep it. Simple, stupid. I think this is the base of life, of success, of many things. But here we about speaking about photography or videography. I see many people when they, this video is especially for beginners, uh, people with more experience that they, they know about uh, many things like this anyway. So uh, very often I see people, beginners, they just got their camera and straight away they want to complicate everything. They drive 100 kilometers to make a picture and then uh, landscape or whatever when they could actually train and uh, next in the house or in the garden and uh, they complicate everything and then they say I'm going to get picture of this bird and whatever you're taking picture without understanding the light you, you have not even read uh, your uh, camera manual uh, first read the manual understand the camera go step by step I don't say that you have to start everything in automatic. That would be a good start to have everything automatic and learn how to frame, for example, okay? So, step by step. And uh, before, people, when they were using film camera, uh, what they were doing uh, were normally uh, starting with easy things like a flower next to the house or in the house or uh, things in the garden or in next to them. And because every time they were pressing the, the the trigger of the camera it was uh, costly because you had to pay for the film and uh, you have only 36 exposures so that was limited uh, but this died with uh, digital photography people now they shoot 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 like mad without thinking they just shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and they make everything complicated and uh, let's say today I'm going to the landscape and tomorrow oh I have to buy a new lens I need another lens uh, because uh, I need to do macro, so they get a macro lens. They don't even use the, know how to use the basic uh, kit lens, but they already want a macro. And then two weeks later, they need a fisheye because they need to make a fisheye with the fisheye. is 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 vital. Without this fisheye lens, they're going to die. And then a week after, they need a telephoto lens because it, it's they, they cannot sleep anymore. They they need that, and uh, they start reading seeing that the picture they're making they're not getting what they want so they need a better camera it's never the problem of the photographer it's not their fault it's obviously a material problem it's not because they make things complicated that it doesn't come out it's just because the material is no good and no the big problem is because they make it complicated go step by step if you're going to do um, strawberries like flash uh, photography why do you need two flashes if with one flash the light is already okay? And then if it's not okay, you need a second flash, then you put a second flash. And if with the second flash it's no good, put a third one or see what's wrong. But keep it simple. I see people, uh, before people would start making picture of little things and then one day they say, well, I'm going to try a portrait. So they would ask someone, could you please pose for me or family, whoever, and I'm going to make a portrait. Nowadays, they have the camera for one week and say, I need a model. What do you mean you need a model? First, she's not, or he's not a model. He's a person that sits in front of the camera and poses for you. A model is someone with a lot of experience posing. Uh, but if you call yourself a photographer, I mean, you can call that person a model. But I'm not getting into this story anyway. So, this person, you call that person, you don't know about light, you don't know how, even how to configure properly your camera, but you already want to make picture to a model. Okay, so uh, you get a magazine and you see a pose that you really like and you tell the girl, boy, very often they want girls, uh, pose like this. She's not an acrobat. This, this pose is made by a professional uh, model, a professional team, the, hel the, the helper to, to get the right pose, the photographer knows how to direct the pose, everything. This girl is posing in front of your camera, she has no clue how to do that pose without falling. And you have no clue how to explain to her how to do it properly. Why do you complain it? Why don't you start with a simple pose? So you make that uh, crazy mad uh, pose 
and then you may get you get your picture you publish on facebook and people say wow this is an incredible picture now this since this picture is is bad why because maybe the pose is good but the lighting is no good or maybe the lighting is good but the pose is no good but no one's going to tell you or maybe some like me and then they kick me out of the facebook group you know so no 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 because then you think you're good as you think you're good you want to complicate things but your base is still lousy the, the, the base is not good so how do you want to complicate things make things simple when you learn how to cook you don't start cooking with caviar you start cooking with a simple egg a fried egg or something like this something simple so you get the base you start to understand the way to go and this is the way to go to keep it simple stupid if you do this then you can complicate bit by bit as you need but you it's the same as when you learn how to walk crawling first then you start walking and then running and if you want to uh, to run a marathon first you run 1000 meter then 5000 then 10000 then 20000 and one day maybe a marathon okay but you don't say oh i'm going to do some running and uh, i'm getting i want a pair of shoes and t-shirt and this for what for a marathon do you have any experience now why do i need experience for to run a marathon i think photography is the same thing you must keep it simple stupid okay thank you for watching this short video uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, there is a button around there and if you click on the small bell you get notified when i upload a new video my website erigibo.com if you have any question you can uh, send me an email to info at erigibo.com or put a comment below and below there is a list of my um, principal gear with links to Amazon UK and Amazon US in case you would like to buy anything it gives me a small commission and to you it costs you the same thing my social network are written below also thank you very much bye